Hey guys, this is JJ with Express Workshops. This week we're going to do basic color correcting using curves inside of Photoshop. All right, let's do some quick color correction using curves inside of Photoshop. Um, this is a project that I'm working on. I'm taking a bunch of old photographs that I have and scanning them in and uh, making them digital so that I can uh, preserve them. And um, I'll end up going in here taking all the dust and scratches out of them. But first what I wanna do is I wanna just kinda get the color um, to my liking. Again, these are just gonna be for archival pro uh, purposes. It's not gonna be any kind of uh, retouch for a magazine. This is just for my personal um, use. So um, first thing I do is I go to adjustments here and I get my curves ad adjustment layer. And the way that I do this, it's pretty foolproof. I mean, you can go in, it'll be a nice first step, a nice, um, you know, step where it's probably going to be finished, but you can go in and tweak it a little bit if you like it. Um, this is the uh, the eyedroppers for uh, sampling the black point, the uh, middle gray, and also the white. Now, I always use just the black because it seems like that every photograph I can easily pick out what's going to be black in the photograph. So that's what I tend to use. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that black point, and I'm looking for an area here that's black. Now, I know that probably in his nostril there, it's going to be a good one. So all I have to do is just pick that area, click it, and you can see that it went in and made that adjustment for me. Now that's a pretty darn good uh, color correction on that. And if you look at the before and after, there's the before and there's the after, you can see that the colors are a lot richer and a lot more, uh, well, I guess vibrant than it was before. And the color has changed slightly. So I'm gonna do a couple different ones here just to kind of see that every one is not different. Look at this guy. This is a picture of me in those awkward years. <laughs> look at that hair. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go here and get a curves adjustment. I'm gonna pick the black point eyedropper here, and I'm looking around and probably in my hair right here on the bottom is gonna be one of the darkest points. So I'm gonna click that, and that's a pretty good color adjustment. Now, if I wanted to go in here and I thought maybe that's a little bit dark, I can go in here and manually adjust this. I can click on this bottom here, and if I move this toward the top, you can see I can start adjusting that. So if I go in here and say about there, and that's gonna work for me. Again, just one click, and I can go in there and easily change it from that to a nice color correction. All right, now, a lot of people don't think about things like this where actually a black and white photograph may have a color tint to it or just may have some contrast problems. Well, you can fix it with that same type of adjustment. Um, you can go to your curves adjustment layer again, pick your black point, try to find something in the photograph that's gonna be the darkest. I think right down here is gonna be about the darkest one I could find. Click on that and you can see that that really makes that a contrasty or a more contrasty photograph. Now, of course, that was uh, taken uh, probably maybe early uh, 70s or maybe late 60s. And um, the, you can see there's camera shake, it's real blurry. So there's not a lot that I'm gonna be able to do about that. But just to get it to that point, then that's gonna work. And if I look at this, I can see that there may be a little bit of a red tint to it still maybe. And if I do, then I can go here to my red channel and then I can just move this slider. You can see if I move it to the left, it's gonna turn redder. And if I move it to the right, it's gonna to go toward blue, which in this case, it's gonna be a little more neutral. So you can make a final adjustment like that if you if you feel like you need to. All right, let's do one more. I've got this one, and I can see already that there's kind of a, 
uh, weird, maybe uh, maroon kind of a, a tint to it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get my curves adjustment and get my black point. Look for somewhere on here where I know it's black, maybe in the shadows here. Click that. All right, that's good. It's got my contrast. And again, if I go in and I think that I want to just get a little of that red out of there, I can just move it over and get that a little less red. All right, let's look at that one before and after. There's the before and there's after. Okay, that's just real quick and easy. Um, one step that you'd take and restore an old photograph like these. Um, I use it all the time just so that I can make sure that um, I'm starting out with something that's at least halfway decent uh, as far as the color temperature. Um, and uh, it's quick and easy to do right inside of Photoshop. All right, that's our tutorial for this week. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure you tell everybody that you know that you can get full free videos here and hit the like button. All right, I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Thanks a lot.